as you can see in the latest video we've finished the implementation of the collisions between the ball and the two pedals so in this video we'll create the baseline for the scoring system we'll create the points variables so we can display them on the screen let's start by creating the variables Pedal left points db. db it's because we only need a byte of storage. And it begins at zero. This will be the current point of the left player. We can call it player one. Now we do the same for the right pedal. So pedal right points db0 and it's the player 2 now we need to modify the ball collision procedure so we can instead of resetting the, the position when going over the left and the right boundaries we increment the score so when the ball has passed the left boundary we give one point to the player 2 and reset the ball position so give one point to the player two and reset ball position. Now we jump to a new label. We can call this label give point to player two. Done, and we do the same for the right bounce. This time we want to jump to give point to player one. Let me just update the comment. Let's copy this one. And now we just need to simply create these labels. We need to call give point to player one, and we need to call this. We need to call reset ball position. Let's erase this. Then it's very simple we just increment the respective score. We can do this with the inc command. This command will add one to the current value of the variable. Now the other label is the same idea. Call reset ball position, red command now we copy this comment and we can comment all of these too let's go crazy with the comments same here player 2 and increment player 2 points and now 
we will need to create a way of restarting this course to zero whenever the game is finished when it's game over for example so it's very simple we create a new label game over in this label we'll assign to the points of each player a value of zero let's use the move command of the two panels the red command and it's done Let's comment this out too. And let's say that when we reached five points, the game is over. This is the same. We start player two points. And now we'll need to add a condition here so we can check if we reached five points. Check if this player has reached five points. CMP pedal left points and five if it's greater or equal we jump to the game over label now we do the same for the other player do the same for the other player so let's copy this paste it and now paddle right so it's done so we're moving the ball on the X axis we check if the ball has passed the left boundary and if it has we jump to the give point to player 2 label and here we increment the player uh, 2 points and reset the ball position after this we check if the player points is equal or greater to 5 and if it is, we um, finish the game. Same is for the right boundary, so we give play a point to player one. We increment the points, reset the ball, and check if uh, the score has passed the five points. If it has, game over. So let's test this now. So no errors and you can see that nothing has changed. So despite this we implemented right now the baseline for the game scoring system and in the next video I will show you how to display the score, the score text on the screen. See you there and keep coding.